Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Just, we're going to an estate sale, hanging out today, so I figured I'd try and record some clips. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some of the recent things I've been picking up. Um, I've been ordering a lot of stuff online to sell. So I'll show you guys that, and this should probably be a quicker video for me to edit and to post, just so I can get something out there. But yeah, just wanna say good morning and... <laughs> okay, say good morning. <laughs> Been selling a lot on Depop. If you guys want to check out the Depop shop, at shop just some things. Um, but this is the most orders I've ever gotten in one day. So thank you to everybody who's ordered and been ordering for me. And thank you for all the support, guys. It seriously it means a lot. And at the time of this recording, um, I'm currently like seven subs away from 500 subscribers, which is crazy to me. Um, I set my goal for 500 literally at the beginning of the year. Thank you guys so much for the love and the support um, on the YouTube channel specifically. Um, I love making these videos for you guys. Um, they're just fun. I love to watch them with my family. We'll literally, we'll sit down and watch after I post a new video. We'll just sit on the couch, we'll watch the video, we'll enjoy it. Um, just very nostalgic for me. It feels like home movies growing up in the 90s and stuff like that. But anyways, thank you guys for subbing. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. You say hi, show them how you eat oatmeal. <laughs> so, no estate sale, but I stopped at a random yard sale and um, okay, so we got a bunch of Pendleton, paid a dollar a piece for six Pendletons and this guy threw in some free Filson. I've never owned Filson. Um, I don't have to date these, but they're all really, really dirty. He said they were used as like oil rags pretty much, but he gave these to me for free because I knew about Filson. So, super cool. Hopefully I can clean these up and uh, yeah. All right, everybody, we're back home. Uh, went to a couple of garage sales. Didn't go to that estate sale that I wanted to go to. We just figured it, we really wouldn't have time for it. But you guys already kind of saw, I got all those Pendletons and I believe they're at least 90s. Maybe some of them are newer. I don't know, I haven't really looked at the tags much, but I got, this guy gave me two Filson jackets that he said were just used as like oil rags, oil cloth. Um, so I'm trying to clean them, but I believe those are like six from the 60s, maybe the 70s. Um, I also don't know. I haven't really inspected them too, too much, but um, obviously they're covered in oil. So I'm trying to figure out how to clean them. I have them soaking in like a soap detergent bath. Um, so hopefully that helps. We're just going to leave that probably for at least 24 hours and see how that does. But uh, I'm going to take a nap. I'm tired. And then maybe later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got this new toy from Landon. Sebastian, the crab. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying, we're going to show you guys uh, everything that I've been picking up recently. Um, I haven't been really doing too well, to be honest, in the thrift or anything like that. This one estate sale that I went to yesterday, I found exactly what I was looking for, which I was super happy about and honestly really surprised. You guys will see it. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it. But yeah, I will show you guys that either later today or on Sunday morning or something. We're going to the antique fair down the street at the fairgrounds. Um, so it's Father's Day and yeah, we're gonna go to the antique fair and hang out with my dad and Bethany's dad. And uh, yeah, I'm blabbing. Okay, so we'll see you whenever. <laughs> Do you like it, Aurora? You don't like it, buddy? Good morning, everybody. It's been a couple days. Um, it's Sunday now. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, say hi, Landon. Good morning. Um, we're going to the antique fair. I still haven't recorded the recent pickups portion of this video. I apologize. If you guys just want to skip ahead, go ahead. But we're going to the antique fair. Um, so you guys will see clips of that if you want to see that. And uh, we'll show you guys anything that we pick up. And uh, yeah. Also, shout out to everybody who ordered. Um, another, what is this? Five orders going out. Crazy. Crazy. All right, guys. We made it to the antique festival. 
Let's see if we can find anything. We're not really looking at anything particular. Um, we really haven't really needed anything. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what we find. Yeah. It's cool because it's literally just down the street, so. Hey guys, so the first thing we got, Bethany got a free skirt from this lady. We were literally just walking by and she asked her what size she was. She liked my boots. She liked Bethany's boots. She's the only person who's wearing cowboy boots out here in the country. And uh, yeah, and we bought Landon a pair of cowboy boots for a dollar, so cool. I like this mushroom. Feed bags, love these. They're cool. Pressed shirt. Oh my gosh, it's like a 40s, I believe. So cool. Old cameras. That's like an eye, though. Here we go. I'm boots. Big. Darn. All right, guys. So we're going in to lunch, and uh, yeah, sorry, I didn't really record much clips at the antiques fair. Um, I found a cool 1930s uh, baseball uniform, but the guy wanted 200, and I wasn't willing to pay that. But anyways, I uh, just want to say we'll see you guys another day because this is the end of the clips for today. Okay. Bye. We went on wholesale, selling all of these stuff that I had listed on Depop. Not D top, but I believe there's like 47 T's here. Uh, half are single stitch, half are double. So, yeah, cool. Wait, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. So, we did a whole out, wholesale buyout. This is uh, Ross from Stumbled Upon Vintage. I don't know. Is, it, is that your at, your yeah, Instagram? My ad is Stumbled Upon Vintage on Instagram and uh, TikTok and Facebook. Cool. And yeah. I just bought about 50 shirts from Miles. And <laughs> excited. I got a pop-up coming up this Thursday, so this is going to help me out. A lot of single stitch, a couple of double stitch, and yeah, so thank you, Miles. Sweet, man. Awesome. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Pleasure. Appreciate you. Okay, everybody. We're back in the showroom, and uh, I got a friend here who's buying some stuff, so I just want to let him say hi to you guys, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show you guys everything you got. What's up, guys? I'm excited. Thankful for Miles for having me out. So I got this piece. I really like it. I'm thinking about rocking it just sleeveless with jeans. That's the way we're gonna go. Um, I'm a huge sucker for green, so I got this t-shirt out. Yeah, Fits me cool. oversized. I really like this one a lot. Looks nice with the black jeans. Wild Lake. Hopefully rock it with some shorts too this summer. Um, then we got this piece. This is probably my favorite one. I'm not gonna lie. This is just, guys, this is like wearing a blanket. Like, <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, super soft material. It's like from the 90s. Oh, so nice. Bethany and I love this one, but we're getting rid of it, so. And I'm thankful for that, so here we are. <laughs> got corduroy. I told him I ripped my last pair of pants that were corduroy, so I needed a replacement. And these are just nice. And these are like, guys, the perfect fit. Don't even have to wear a belt. It's gonna be yeah. amazing. If you guys know the brand, Double RL, super popular. So, like those ones a lot, good color. And then I got a pair of jeans, these a lot, Levi's. 90s, 550s, perfect. Super nice, like those. Then he let me hit up a secret stash, so we <laughs> like that. Walking away with this, this will be great for summer. I'm thinking I'm gonna layer it, it'll be nice. Freebies. Or a little tank top underneath. Yeah. These are all freebies for them. We like them. This is probably the this is probably the coolest freebie out of the pile. Sick. A lot a little, of different pattern. A little rugby. Looks pretty pretty sweet. So. Cool, man. Appreciate Thanks, you yeah. coming out. Thanks for having thank me, you, man. Thank you. I enjoyed it. It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of steals. Good morning, everybody. It has been a little while since I've picked up the camera, and I still have yet to finish recording parts of. Uh, the recent thrift video um so as of right now i think this one's gonna probably be i don't know maybe i'll throw this in this video i have no idea but um i'm gonna drop bethany off at work she has a couple patients uh just one patient actually and then i'm gonna stop by a couple of state sales maybe possibly depending on how long she's there um with landon and then uh yeah i'll show you guys anything you pick up i'll probably record stuff on my phone when we get to the state sale but yes Good morning. <laughs> you tired, buddy? What is that face, buddy? Just a side note, I don't think I ever showed you guys or told you guys, but a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, Bethany's car got 
pummeled by hail. Literally, it looks like it got attacked by a small bat, um, like a baseball bat. And while she was at work, and we were not very happy about it, but today we are hopefully getting the car back today. So, yes. Thank you to both of our parents for lending us their cars for the meantime, because we only have one car um, right now. Okay, we... <laughs> We, we each home. only have one car, so we have two cars total, but obviously without Bethany's car, we only had one car, and uh, carpooling is just really not a viable option for us because we worked in two totally different locations. So yes, just thank you to our parents for uh, letting us borrow their vehicles. Um, we seriously appreciate it. And yeah, okay, anyways, that's just a little side note. I didn't show you guys. Um, I probably should have showed you guys on video and recorded it for the vlog, but... We'll show, uh, I'll have Bethany send me her iPhone video of the hail, literally softball size hail, or like golf ball size hail. And like all her coworkers' uh, windshields were shattered. Craziest thing I've ever seen in Michigan. I've seen hail, but it literally just like a little salt, salt, size. salt size. So, I mean, it's, anyways, beside the point. $100 for this racing jacket though. This is so cool. Also found this, our first boat and tote. Wait. Went to one estate sale before this one and uh, didn't get anything. Some girl literally walked out with the jacket that I went to go for um, as we were walking in. And then we went to a second one right across the street. And this is literally the one thing I went for. Well, I went for a couple things, but this is the only thing I got, um, just a Olive bean boat and tote made in the USA. Not a huge fan of the color, but I don't mind it. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, I'm probably gonna keep this to be honest, but cool, on to another one. So we're home, state sales were kinda at today and I forgot my camera in my car and we took Bethany's car. So uh, yeah, I'll show you guys everything really quickly just here in the trunk. Um, if you can kinda see her car, um, you guys don't even know but literally, I can't even really find any of the dings. We can't find any of the dings, so they, they did a really good job. Side note. So here's everything that we got. First off, 80s, super dirty, super crusty. Someone tell me what sports team this is, but this hat, pretty cool. Needs to be cleaned up. Love this Paddington Bear one, this trucker. Super cool, obviously needs to be cleaned. This, again, is the boat and tote right here. Super cool, happy about that one. That's probably my favorite thing today and the Paddington hat, to be honest. Um, 2000 Y2K crew neck, why am I blanking? <laughs> St. Martin, single stitch. Um, this place had a bunch of t-shirts, but this one, I only picked up single stitch ones, to be honest. This one is really cool, Elder, Elder Hostel China. On a all right, this is probably like an 80s, 90s single stitch t-shirt. Depending on how this fits, um, I may or may not keep this. Okay, now we got this Ger Germany? Germany. Um, I want to say this is like an 80s or 90s crew. Texas, this one's like a 90s. And then just some two uh, 90s. Uh, this might be an 80s, uh, but I love this. It says uh, friends for apps. friends stick together. And it's like bedazzled or something. Handmade. Uh, same about this one. This one's got air balloons on it on the 90s Fruit of the Loom. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hey, everybody. So I know this part has been Long overdue, I think the first the first clip I recorded in this video was literally like probably over a month ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the recent pickups. This is stuff that I've been picking up. Most of it, honestly, I have been buying online because uh, the thrift has been pretty um, sparse for me. I have not been finding much good things, so I've kind of just been perusing online a lot more, looking for those deals. I'm going to show you guys a lot of this stuff, and uh, it's really not that much, but I'm going to save some of the better stuff for last. But we will start off with something that I really do love, and it is this pair of Orange Tab 505s. If you guys can kind of see the wash on this, is so, so good. You can kind of see the uh, like the whiskering, the honeycombing, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this pair, super nice. And just an FYI, all this stuff is probably for the personal, so don't even bother asking um, unless you guys have a really good offer. <laughs> uh, let me know, but let me know which one of these is your guys' favorite. Um, starting off this one, yeah, 505, just a good classic um, straight leg pair of jeans. 
I don't have many, and this is probably like my coolest wash denim, to be honest. Um, and I have been wearing those pretty often. And then secondly, I never find these. We have a 501s. Um, this is a pair from 1999, so literally like right at the cusp. So still a 90s pair, super light, um, stone wash denim pretty much. Nothing too crazy here, just wanted to showcase it because um, yeah, like I said, I never find 501s. And then we have just yet another pair of orange tabs. Um, these are 517s, which is one of my favorite um, models of Levi's. Um, I believe, I don't know what the date is on these ones. I can tell you, but it's pretty faded. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, just a nice wash. Um, I'm literally just trading out one of these for a pair that I have because I like this one better. It is a little big, um, but yeah, seven, five seventeens, good pair to have. Um, I don't have many. I think I have like two pairs, but yeah, just a nice pair. This one's a lot baggier than the ones that I have. It's a good essential. If you guys don't have the 517 or don't know what the 517 model is, it is just a boot cut, very slight flare. I wouldn't even consider it like flare, to be honest. Um, it's more of just a boot cut. And then we have these are crazy. Um, I bought these for my birthday. Well, technically Bethany bought me these for my birthday, but these are from my friend uh, Marshall from uh, Bayless Vintage. These are my first pair of 684s. 684s, dark wash. Literally, these were probably like one wash, he said, when I bought them off him. And uh, I've been wearing these and I'm super excited to just wear these out and get them faded. 684s, if you don't know, are a good piece to uh, keep an eye out for. These ones are super bells, so these are bell bottoms. I love these so, <laughs> I love these so much. Yeah, and then this one, I, Honestly, I have, this is like my third pair. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you know that I found a pair of these at an estate sale for three bucks. Unfortunately, I did not pay $3 for this pair, but it was a surprise because I didn't even know that these were, um, okay, these are uh, Levi's 646s. Um, they do still have the orange tab, but I didn't even know that these were 646s until I got them. And to my surprise, they are bell bottoms, 646 Levi bell bottoms. And you guys already know, I love the Talon 42 zipper, which I did not know um, that this was on there because she didn't have a picture of this posted. It was just like, oh, orange tabs for like 20 bucks, whatever. Thought it was cool. So I grabbed them just because I've been trying to curate my shop. I don't think I have many orange tabs listed. I don't really have much to many to sell. And if they are, they are 550 miles. So I've been trying to just curate my Depop shop and just get uh, a bunch of other things in to sell. And then I found this and lo and behold, they are the 646 Levi's with the Talon 42. So this is my second pair that I have um, that I will be keeping. So yes. Um, I did buy these to sell, but now I'm keeping them because they fit. I wear them, I love them, um, and I will probably get rid of a pair that I have um, that I I love, to be honest, um, but can't keep them all. And then, okay, so those are it for the jeans. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the sweats, and I have one t-shirt. So I have two sweats and one t-shirt left for this uh, pickup portion. I will probably record another video, a separate video. Um, I got some of the coolest stuff that I got from um, somebody who had reached out to me um, and found me through YouTube. So um, anyway, that's for a whole nother video. I probably might record that video right after this. But um, you guys, uh, if you remember in previous clips, <laughs> I mentioned that I went to an estate sale and I found what I was looking for, which I was surprised because normally if they have it pictured like in the estate sale, like uh, listing, it usually gets sold pretty quick, but I'm just assuming nobody cared, nobody really knew what it was. But we have this, I believe this is 60s Beethoven crew neck. This thing is crazy. I honestly love this thing. This thing fits me very well. Um, I can't tell you what the tag is. Oh, no. Collegiate, Collegiate Pacific. Collegiate Pacific Pacific. <laughs> okay, anyway, we have this Beethoven, 60s Beethoven, 
crew neck. You guys, I've been on a crew neck kick. Um, to be honest, I've been like trying to get more crew necks in my collection and it's summer still, so I can't even wear these yet, but like I've been, what feels like I've been hoarding a bunch of these really cool vintage ones and I have more to show you, but like I said, that's in another video. Um, but yeah, you can tell it's got the overlock stitching. It's got the armpit gusset here, um, which I am honestly just realizing now, to be honest. So this is probably a 60s sweater. I originally thought this was a 70s, but this is probably 60s would be my guess. I could be wrong, but pilling, super, super cool. I honestly love this thing. This thing is so cool. I'm excited to wear this and have this into the rotation. It reminded, honestly, when I saw the listing, it reminded me of the Capital um, Beethoven uh, crew neck sweater. If you guys know Capital, just look up Capital uh, Beethoven. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh. These next two pieces are from Normal Vintage Seller. So shout out to you. Um, he threw in this for free, but we have this 60s or 70s Memphis State University. Um, this is like flock print. Uh, I wish this wasn't a cutoff, but it's fine. And I want to say, yeah, this would have, I mean, I'm wondering if this was intended to be a cutoff or not. I honestly, I'm starting to think it just wasn't a cutoff. They just cut off the uh, elastic at the end because there is traces of the overlock stitching right here at the end of the cutoff. So it's probably not even a cutoff technically, but yeah, the 60s, super nice. I've been loving this kind of thing too. If you guys can't tell all this collegiate, like fraternity collegiate kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's on the Artex tag. Love this one, super nice. There's that. And then the very last piece is this, I believe to be also be 60s, but the 60s Camp Sharon Church of God t-shirt. This is originally what I reached out to him for and uh, I got a really, really good deal on it, I think personally. But yeah, I just love the fading on this one. Really nice, very distressed, super faded. Love the graphic. Love God. Um, so yeah, this one just fits in my collection. I have yet to wear it. So um, this is me recording this video so I can wear a lot of this stuff. Um, and if you guys, I don't know if anybody else is like me, probably not, but um, when I find cool things and I end up keeping it for myself, um, being that I love to record videos and I do like Instagram reels and stuff like that, I don't like to um, wear it without having recorded that I got it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Let me know. But yeah, that was it for the pickups portion. Um, yeah, sorry this video took a while to um, do. It's kind of been all over the place. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>guys stuck to the very end of this video here's a little sneak preview of this other pickups video I'm gonna do um, I love it so much that I think it deserves a separate video um, plus it came from a very special place to me so yeah I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek so thank you guys if you guys made it this far um, comment down below um, I don't know sneak peek <laughs> Here's just literally just a tiny thing I'm gonna show you guys. Whoop. Okay, I'm sure some of you guys can make out what that is if you guys know. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm really excited about it. Um, this is some probably my oldest stuff, so yeah, stay tuned. Okay, we'll see you later, bye.